guys, before I get started with today's video, um, one of my subscribers, Vanessa, hi, if you're watching, she told me that Century 21 is doing a huge Gucci, so when I checked, and there was a lot of bags for 60% off, and even, like, the classic Gucci Marmont belt, so there's a lot of good stuff on it, so I'll leave the link down below, be the first link, but yeah, thank you so much, Vanessa, for letting us know when the good deals happen, and if there's any good deals always going around, definitely let me know down below, so I can always put them in my videos, or just always DM me on Instagram. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What is up you guys, you're watching Sergio Secrets and today's video is going to be such a great one guys. I'm going to be showing you everything that I've gotten on sale. I'm going to be showing you the items that I've been getting on sale because designer sale, contemporary sale, um, also you know you know what's been going on throughout this entire year so um, the industry has been changing a lot and people have been trying to get rid of you know their dead stock, their extra merchandise stuff that department stores canceled so there's a lot of great deals. Almost everything was on sale except for one item. Yeah, I'm so excited to be showing you all the items guys. We have a pair of Christian Louboutins, we have four sneakers, we have a bunch of contemporary clothing, a few handbags, accessories. So I post some of the greatest sell links like right now the Y sell sell, the Balenciaga sell, the Burberry sell. Always check the description box to know the 411 and I'll be listing one of my favorite sales that always comes through and always shows me items um, before they get posted or anything. And and he always comes through so I want to shout him out because he got me um, a couple items and um, if there's any sales associates that watch my YouTube channel that work for you know these these companies shoot me a DM on Instagram and I could put you on my um, YouTube bio on all my videos so if people want to shop and get something maybe on sale or trying to find something that's hard to reach like a, maybe a certain Chanel sneaker Dior sneaker um, definitely shoot me a DM and we can definitely work on that and yeah I'm so excited to be showing you everything guys Next items but for the most part everything's about 60 to 70 percent off you can get designer items on sale i know people try to say um you can't you definitely can guys you have to you know shop at the right place be at the right place know the right people the price and everything i'll definitely let you know down below but like i said all those sell links will be down below and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up hit subscribe button and strap up because we're about to go ahead and show you all my favorite items that i purchased or all the items that i purchased just give this video a thumbs up and if you want to see me shopping for a lot of these items um just check on my channel within the last couple of videos i've been showing you me shopping for most of these items so other than that let's get started with today's video so i'm going ahead and show you the first item that i got and these are a pair of christian louboutins so these are my actual first pair for me i know i used to have louboutins in my background in my videos and stuff um those were my mom's shoes but for me this is technically my first pair of louboutins so these ones are in a size 40 um and they are the kiddo sneakers so this is the box here and i'll be doing a review of me like wearing christian louboutins for the first time for me the reason why i didn't really buy louboutin shoes is i just feel like it has changed within the last couple of years of what Louboutin means and what it signifies. So for me, I feel like some of the allure kind of rubbed off. I'm not the biggest fan of all like the crazy and funky designs. As you can see by the sneaker that I picked up right now, um, this one is just a simple white sneaker that literally just has a red sole on it. So this is the shoe that I bought right here. It is white. It has um, silver hardware and it is just the classic like a classic white sneaker with velcro strap. Any of you guys que fueron escuela in Mexico, um, you guys already know like these are the type of sneakers you have to wear in like a, a Mexico school. And so as you can see, they have the white vocal straps. They have the beautiful red bottom sole. Um, they're a really nice pair of shoes. I tried them on. Um, but usually I tend to be a 41, but for whatever reason, a lot of my shoes have been a little bit more of a 40. And these ones fit fine. I, I think I'm going to break them in today because I broke in a pair that I'm going to show you next. And those ones, I've been in recovery for like three days, but I feel like my foot has recovered enough for me to w break in another pair of shoes. But yeah, so I got these Louboutins for 60% off. And these ended up being $298. I know that's a little bit of expensive for a shoe. But I did want to have just one Louboutin. I wanted to try one Louboutin in my collection. And I didn't want to buy like a heel. I didn't want to buy a crazy spike sneaker. Because at the end of the day, that's not me. Um, I'm a very simple person when it comes to my style. But, you know, it's crisp, clean, and minimal. So these ones right here would be perfect. So the way I would style them is like this. So I'm wearing a Hugo Boss shell. I'm wearing this Veronica Beard blazer that I got from Nordstrom Rack. 
I would wear like some either white slacks or black slacks and then these shoes and then they can kind of pop so it's kind of you know you wear it very nice and very well and then you can you can have a little bit of branding like that where the pop I wouldn't go all logoed out with Louboutin but I like I like them to be a little bit more on this discreet side but yeah I got these Louboutins for $298 Louboutins do go on sale I know that's something that I get asked all the time see you guys they do go on sale and yeah, I got my first ever pair of Louboutins, which I'm so excited. Too excited to be breaking them in, pero si, si me gusta mucho. And it's my first one, and I got them for a decent price, in my opinion. Next shoe that I got, I got these from Last Call by Neiman Marcus. And these ones are Golden Goose. And I got these for uh, 200 and. $24. Now these ones I feel like I may return. I'm not really sure because like literally when I got these I ended up or when I went to Neiman's later that day um, I bought another item about a Gucci bag for 60% off a very classic and core one which I'll be getting in. So I kind of want to return these and just use the money for this one towards that. So I'm pretty sure these ones will be going back. That's probably the only item well, there's two items that may be going back, but everything else I know for sure I'm going to be keeping. And I like to keep it honest. These are the shoes right here. And they say Golden Goose. They have the leopard sneaker with the little star on them. These ones are, are, are 24 out of 936. So it shows you like um, like how many shoes of these are in the world, like of this type of style. And yeah, I really like the Golden Gooses. They're in a size... They're a size too small. They're in a size 9. I'm usually a 10 in all kind of shoes in general for women. So these ones were a little tight in general. So I feel like these ones will be getting returned. I'm not my mind 100%, but I do really, really like them. I got a great deal, but I've been buying a lot of shoes. I have those Louboutins, and then I have two more that I've already worn, guys. The next shoe, the next shoe, the next shoe are a pair of common projects. Now, these common projects, so... So Neiman Marcus aren't doing that kind of event anymore. So it's called the Last Call event. One day, and there's a huge line out the door. So crazy and like, there's just so much going on. I wish I would have filmed an event for you guys so you know what I meant. Anyway, so they're not doing that anymore. So they're just putting merchandise out. Because what they do, they would save all the merchandise for an event, right? But now they just put the merchandise as they get it out on the floor. And I also heard that all Last Calls are closing except for the ones in Texas. A lovely subscriber actually told me that. Hi, thank you so much for letting me know. You guys always keep me informed. You guys always keep me snatched. You always keep me informed into the 111, everything that's going on. You guys always send me articles, links, and everything. And I want to say I really, really appreciate that because it makes me more knowledgeable. And so when people ask me questions or ask me things, I have more of a better response to give for them. So, yeah. So these common projects, I missed them out the first time. I was, like, so bummed out because I really wanted them. But then, I, but then like, about a year later, I found them there. And these are the common projects and these are the oh, the white ones and these ones are in a size 41 and these are the ones that broke my foot guys if you watched my TJ Maxx video from yesterday you saw that that these gave me such a horrible horrible blister but I, at least I broke them in one time for me usually once I break them in one time and I wear them for like 10 hours I broke them in the first time they should be totally fine but I am in love with them I think I mentioned these in my wishlist videos how I wanted one pair of common projects for me Common projects are just very nice and easy to style. They're basically a white sneaker. They have no branding except the little gold right here. I know my camera, I've been really bad with focusing it on white. But they basically say the little numbers here. How they're easy, they're minimal, and they literally go with everything. So I just wanted something that's a very high quality sneaker, a high kind of, you know, contemporary kind of look. And these ones will go with every single shoe. And for me, all my shoes I keep in a rotation. So I don't really have any shoes that look super, super, super worn. Except for athletic shoes. Because I like to keep a nice, healthy rotation of my shoes. So they all kind of get wear and tear on them. But yeah, I got these common projects. And I got these for $220. Half off. And, you know, people pay full price for these all the time. So the fact that I could get it 50% off. And then I had a $50 off coupon. I ended up getting them for $170. So you definitely cannot beat that. So. These are my common projects finare. Is the only item that I got full price and they are a pair of Dior sneakers. Now these Dior sneakers I've been wanting literally for the absolute longest time. I think since last year. Sneaker and for me I feel like these would go really well with my Dior book tote and my Dior saddle bag. So and I really like Dior because uh, of the monogram. The monogram means a lot to me. There's a little backstory behind it. If you know me personally, you would kind of know why. And so anything that is the Dior monogram or that says Dior, um, it, 
I just have like an emotional attachment with or a personalization attachment with so for me I feel like these are personalized for myself for whatever reason and so I really like the oblique I, I do really like the my favorite color is blue um, besides you know black white and gray so blue or navy I really like and you know the D or you know those letters starting with the D really means a lot so when I see these I feel like these are kind of made for me and I don't know if somebody owns these shoes if you guys can let me know but this one says you know how like at the bottom right here this is Christian Dior. Well, this one I tried making the laces up here, but it doesn't work out. I don't know if my laces just are a little bit different, and I could probably go to the Dior store and ask them to kind of, you know, get me a new lace. And then at the bottom right here, it says um, Christian Dior, Jaw Dior on them. And yeah, they've been really comfortable. I've worn them a couple times. They're a nice shoe. They're very, they didn't really hurt to break in. But they're not a shoe that I would wear every day. Plus, these are kind of canvas, so I don't want to wear them too, too much. So, But I will be getting a lot more wear on these shoes. But yeah, I love them. I think they're a beautiful, clean, classic core sneaker. And, you know, you can never go wrong with a brand that you always like. For me, right now, my favorite designer brand um, is Christian Dior. For me, I was really into YSL and Chanel, but right now, and Givenchy, which I still am. I love all the items that I have, but right now, I'm having, like, a little moment with... Dior and so yeah, I love it. So sneakers they are nice they're comfortable They go with everything and you know, I can wear a simple outfit I can wear a black blazer black jeans black shirt these my Dior book toe and I'm out the door and Oh, they also go with my Dior belt as well because they have the oblique on them But yeah, I love them. I buy something that's designer or a little bit more flashy I tend to um, wear them a classic way and I don't try to be over the top I try to wear them in a very sophisticated way. So these are the Dior sneakers. I'm going to be showing you some of the handbags that I purchased. So if you saw my video is buying my first MCM in like a couple of years. I purchased this MCM monogram toe. Um, it has a zipper. I did a full kind of what's my bag slash review on it when I, when I purchased this bag. Which I will leave linked down below. But I have been really using this bag. I have really been loving it. Um, and yeah, so this is just the classic MCM monogram bag with the kind of... Um, Konia kind of um, leather trim on it. I think it's very classic. It's very core. It kind of it goes with everything. And but like I said, when anytime it's monogram, you always have to kind of wear it um, a certain way. You have to kind of make it look classic because you can look too much very very easily. But I have been styling this very well with a lot of my contemporary pieces or contemporary looking pieces, and they go very very well and the way I style it I've been getting a lot of compliments on this tote and yeah I really like it I love that it fits my cell phone right here it's a very nice and deep little pocket and I like that it has a zipper I like that it's silver hardware um, I do really like this MCM tote and I thought I would share it with you and I got this bag for 60% off so this is the MCM tote and bag that I got is this Troy Birch Kira so this Kira right here um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this one just yet. This and the Golden Goose are the only two about just yet. And I'll tell you why I'm not sure. Because I bought this bag like so before I bought this one. So the, as you can see, they're like literally the same color. I've been wanting a blue bag for the longest. And so when I went to Last Call by Neiman Marcus, this bag reached for $275. It was there for $215 and it was 75% um, off. So I got this little Longchamp leather. Um, I wore it the next day that I got it. It has it's over hardware. It has a nice generous pocket. You can kind of adjust these little... Um, the little leather tops to make it whatever length you want it to be and so for me I just I, I love this and I love the color but then since then I got this one in the mail and now I have kind of two bags in the very similar color. I keep both of them or one of them. You guys can definitely let me know down below. I feel like I don't really have a lot of color bags in general, but I don't want them to be very, very similar. Um, but I got did get this one for 50% off. I got this one for 180 I believe, from 358 And obviously, I got this one for like $50. $50. And honestly, I really like both of them. I love the blue or Tory Birch color. But since I, since I bought this one, I kind of like the Longchamp a little bit more. And I also have like a lot of Tory Burch bags. And I don't really have a lot of Longchamps in my collection. So I feel like I'm going to end up keeping this one. And I may give this one to my mom or I may just ultimately return it. I also do vlog sales at the end of the month. Um, just like about 30 items that I don't want in my collection. And at the end of the month, I'm going to be selling um, I'm gonna be selling a couple items. I'm going to be selling a Gucci bag. I'm going to be selling a Celine bag. I'm going to be selling a couple other designer items. So if you're ever interested in following that page i'll also leave the link down below for those are all the handbags that i purchased i'm going to quickly be showing you some of the clothing and then we'll get into 
the watch that I bought and then the coach charms that I bought from the TJ Maxx, five dollars. Like one of them retailed for four hundred dollars and I literally got it for five dollars. But I'll show you guys that towards the end. Stuff that I ended up keeping from TJ Maxx, I believe everything is from TJ Maxx. And the first one is this Veronica Beard Dicky. So if you know me, I'm a huge fan of Veronica Beard items. This blazer's Veronica Beard. These two right here are Veronica Beard. And so these are basically inserts that on the inside they have like a little zipper, right? And you can zip these on and you know, it's like a part of the jacket. So they sell these very separately, but these can be so expensive. I only have one other Dicky, which is the classic gray hoodie. And even that, that's like $150. I mean, I got mine on sale, but you know what I mean? That's a lot of money to pay. And this one retailed for $250. And I just felt like, um, I saw this one when it came out and I liked it. But then I saw it at TJ Maxx. And guess how much it was? It was literally $30. And the retail on it is $250. So I got this one for almost about like 88% off. Something crazy like that. And it's just a nice tweed. This one will go with my black one, with my gray one. And then I have another one in my closet that this will go great with. And every time I now going forward that I see a dicky that I like, I'm going to be purchasing. I have a couple of Veronica Beard jackets in general in my collection. I feel like I have about maybe like 10 now. And I really like all of them. They all work for my lifestyle. They're just nice, wearable, dress up, dress down. So I do want to start a little bit of a dicky collection. And literally this one retailed for $250 and it was there for 30 bucks and when I saw it um, I just had to have it I love the tweed I love the colorway I'm gonna be showing you some of the trousers that I purchased because I always get asked about what are my favorite trousers so I purchased two from theory so this one is a khaki one I've been wanting a nice key trouser and the perfect shade and the perfect finish and the perfect fit and I saw these ones at TJ Maxx um, they were originally 300 and something dollars and anything theory and Vince tends to hold up really well for me so these ones retailed for $335 and they are called the beige stone double stretch 335 and they were there um, for $80 and they had two markdowns so these ended up being $30 so I got a pair of $300 classic khaki with a nice stretch these are great material I will have these for the next five years of my collection I have the perfect khaki trouser so I feel like I don't need any more and I got it for literally $30 you guys like this is such classic core it has a nice stretch you can even feel the material it's not like it's not flim like it's nice and stiff I, it has a good amount of structure to it which is something that I really like but I got these trousers for $30 and I just can't believe I got it for such an, an, an amazing deal for something that's poor and something that I could get a lot of wear out of. And I don't have anything like khaki in my wardrobe. So I'm very, very excited to have these in my collection. And now let's go ahead and start with all the other clothing because the other clothing is all literally going to be my favorite color, black. I'm surprised I'm not even wearing negro dita, pero... I'll go ahead and show you. So I got those same theory trousers, but in black. But these ones were a little bit more. They were $48, but I knew that I liked the material on that one. So I was willing to um, pay a little bit more um, just because when I, I, I wear, because I wear my black trousers a lot, a lot, a lot. I felt like, you know what, even if it's a little bit more, I'm, I mean, people paid $335 for them. I, I know people that pay go into Neiman's and they buy full price contemporary clothing all the time so for me like $48 for the black slack nice stiff material hold up really well these would be really great winter trousers and yeah so I got them in black as well and I also got this t-shirt from Anina Bing so this one I got from the Anina Bing warehouse sale sample sale I don't know what it was exactly called but literally everyone asked me if my shirt ripped like so it has a, sh a rip right here and it's just like a basic black tee you know más tiene como like the a little Anina Bing little um her signature right there the tag right here is Anina Bing I really like a lot of her items I've been into her brand this year this year is the first year that I've actually started buying her stuff I have this and I have a blazer and then I have a couple more items from her brand and her stuff seems pretty great quality I mean I, I I, I I tend to like it a lot and so when I saw this one the retail was a hundred dollars like what like when it first came out and I was like Nunca en mi vida voy a pagar 100 dollars for a ripped shirt maybe later in the future But I told myself I would not pay a hundred dollars for a black simple t-shirt that I can just do on myself But then on the sample sale it went on sale for $29 and I was like $29 and free shipping I was like, that's something I can do. And it got delivered by UPS. And so, yeah, I got this top for $30. I literally have worn it, like, 
a couple like now four times since I bought it about a week and a half ago and that goes to when I buy something I like I get obsessed with it and now this is gonna be and now I can finally put this in the wash but I really really like this and here's another tip it's not really good to be washing all your items just single one-time use or taking everything to the dry cleaners one-time use um, your clothes are meant to be worn a little bit it's supposed to be washed or dry cleaned or whatever it is you're supposed to wear them a couple times unless obviously you get them stained but I will do uh, if you guys want me to do a video about how I take care of all my garments and how garments have lasted me from years upon years upon years definitely let me know down below but I got this anime being shirt and my mom literally when she saw the rip she was like get the rope I'm like girl I was like oh my god I see la compre but yeah literally everyone in my everybody in my Hispanic family asked me how did I rip this shirt they didn't even ask me if I bought it ripped they asked me how did I rip it and no I bought it like that so that is the anime being top next item which is an item that I'm actually gonna be wearing today so today is actually my day off which I'm so excited um, we love a day off here on Sergio Secrets a silk top from Vince so it is medium. It is kind of oversized and kind of boxy, but that's how I want it. I mean, Bing literally has one on her website for like $250. And it's kind of like the same kind of vibe of it. And it has these little buttons right here. It is a little wrinkly just because I did have it folded. Uh, and silk and 8% spandex. It retails for $295 and I got it for $48. And, you know, silk tops are expensive and silk items from Vince have folded up pretty well. And I don't really wear like a lot of short sleeves. Like tend to wear third pieces all the time but I like I have been gaining a little bit of weight so something like this that's nice and flowy doesn't disclose how much gain how much weight I've gained it just kind of conceals it even though it is silk and silk you can kind of see a little bit of everything but the way it's kind of flowing the way it fits a little bit more boxy I think it would be fine but always follow me on Instagram if you want to see how I wear and style a lot of the items that I purchase but I'm very satisfied with this Vince silk top to clothing article. So I got these Lafette pants, right? They were originally 468 because the tag is right there. And I got them for $40. So I got them for like more than 90% off. They are black classic trousers. And I wore this yesterday with a white button up and my plaid uh, black and white Veronica Beard dicky. And I kid you not, I got so many compliments. So many. I had literally had 20 compliment me on this on these pants and so they are an a size two obviously there's no way i'm a size two Lafayette, like their customer is a little bit more of a middle age or more kind of older clientele so they do kind of like their sizing's a little bit off like they do a little bit more of the vanity sizing so this one for me it fit me perfectly for Lafayette size two um it is a basically essentially a nice long pant and nice and flowy i and yeah i'm very very with the with the purchases especially the Lafayette pants like I've been wanting a nice flowy pant. Next item I actually wore in one of my videos recently. I think it is why I prefer contemporary brands over designer. And I got this one from TJ Maxx for $40 from originally $150. And this one's in a size large. And I like that it has a zipper. I like that it goes a little bit more longer. I like that it the material like, it isn't too thin. It's a little bit more on the thicker side. It's just a nice kind of different item than a black t-shirt that I typically wear. And Vince holds up really well. If you guys want me to do a full review or a full brand review on Vince or Theodore Veronica Beard as far as clothing definitely let me know down below but I got this one and like I said I just like simple easy contemporary pieces because they, they're good quality you can always pass them down and they tend to hold up really really well and I've had contemporary pieces that I've had in my collection for over five years plus and they literally a lot of those items are still current or they have kind of like a newer version but it still looks it's still the same thing so for me I I'm always a big fan of contemporary clothing. This item that I purchased is this Michelle watch. Now, I've been wanting an, another nice Michelle watch. And for me, I'm going to be really honest. I've been really into square watches. I don't, I don't, I feel like I would never wear a round watch ever again. When I see Rolexes, they don't really do anything to me. When I see an Omega, when I see anything that's not square, I'm, it's just like, it's whatever. Like for me, I've always liked square watches, but I remember one time as a child, I wanted a square watch. I remember my mom told me it looked like a like an old person's watch or like all like something my grandma would wear or my grandpa. And I've always kind of had that stuck in my head. So I always went for like round watches, like all the watches that I've had. But I've been recently going into square watches. And for me, 
I love square watches. I feel like they fit me. They fit my aesthetic. Like, my dream watch for me, it has always been Michelle watches. But um, if I were to choose an other dream watch, it would be my uh, Cardi A tank watch. And for me, the Cardi tank watch is square. And for me, I just, I just, I prefer the square watches a lot better. I think they go a lot better. They fit me. They fit my style. They fit my aesthetic. And this one is a little bit more on the more of a smaller deco. It has all these diamonds around it. It has the Roman numerals. Um, it is a little bit more on the smaller side. It is not as big as my other one, but it's still a classic watch it, it will still go with everything you know people have had their michelle watches for like 10 years plus and they hold up really well um i just like the way the michelle is i feel like michelle watches in general don't really go out of style well i think a lot of watches don't go out of style in general and i feel like a lot of people don't wear watches anymore people tend to wear more like apple watches and stuff like that i prefer myself a good classic timeless kind of watch like this one and going forward i think all my watches are going to be more square and for me i don't really like to have too much jewelry too much items for me i like to have you know i tend to wear like the same rings the uh, same watches the same necklaces like um like these little diamond earrings like i don't really change out my jewelry too much i like to have very core items that i go to i don't like to have too much fashion jewelry i used to do that a lot in high school where i would buy like kendra scott and it would just i, I just for me i prefer just to have kind of timeless or at least something that can have for a couple of years that I love and that I can enjoy and that has a story telling behind it. The last two items that I have in this haul for you um, guys are these little charms here. So these charms were literally $5 guys. They were $5 from TJ Maxx. This is like literally like a $400 charm or like a $300 charm. This is a Coach Rexy, right? So she is so pretty. She is nice, pettable. It has gun gunmetal hardware. It has the little clasp right here. And when I saw it, I originally thought it said forty nine ninety nine, and I had to catch myself for a second and be like, "Oh my god, the verdad is cinco dollars." So I told the lady, "Can I please see it?" And I bought it right then and there because. Um, anytime like there's a good deal like this or like when I see something I usually just buy it right then and there or I don't I don't like to carry stuff around the store Like if I'm not holding it physically um, I will buy it right then and there so I got this one for five dollars I really really like it. I think she's so pretty. I, this is so unexpected I was not expecting to get something like this, but for five dollars girl That's a Taco Bell box. That's you know a couple items from the dollar menu So this one was probably the best deal out of all the items I would probably say, I mean, the Louboutins are a pretty good steal because the Louboutins never really go on sale or people don't get access to them on sale that much. So I would say the Louboutins, the Common Projects, this, um, the Veronica Beer Dickey, which basically everything I got a good deal on here, which I told myself I was going to do research on it, but I still have it. If anybody knows what this is, definitely let me know down below. But it has the tag of $165, the original. This is a retail item from Coach. And same thing, I got it for $5. And I don't know what it is. A little bit confundido. But it looks like this. I think it's like, is it supposed to be like a flower? Is it supposed to be like a little, I don't, I don't really know. I told myself I was going to do research, but I haven't had the chance yet. It has a little pearl. It has a little dog tag right here. It is just... And it has a little um, leaf here too. And it's just really pretty. And when I saw them together, I mean, it's kind of like it's kind of like when you adopt a dog. You know what I mean? If they're together, you kind of have to adopt them together. So I was like, you know what? I have to buy them together. And so yeah, I got both of these for five dollars a pop. And yeah, guys, that's my haul. Hope you guys like it. I think it compré muchos core items. I've been getting rid of a lot of items. I had a vlog, so that was very very successful. Um, I'm just very, very successful for the most part. It was definitely a learning lesson for me. But I will be doing another one at the end of the month. Like I said, I will be selling a Gucci bag, a Celine bag. I will be selling a couple other designer items. So if you're ever interested in it, um, request down below. And I'll obviously post a video and everything before my next vlog so goes up. And I've been getting rid of a lot of things that I've been adding, things that I've been really liking. And yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate each and every single one of you. Ever since I've been back on YouTube, ever since like five days ago, you know, going strong in my little streak, I have used in less than five days, which is absolutely crazy. And you guys always come through to support me. And I just want to say thank you, thank you so much that it really warms my heart. And it, um, you know, I never thought this would be like an actual like YouTube, like people would actually want to watch me. And I'm just always grateful for every single one of you that take the time to watch my videos. I, I really appreciate it. I'll leave the great sell links down below. Um, you know like the Gucci sell and the Burberry sell and everything I will leave all the great sell links down below and yeah guys thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video which is going to be um, a Marc Jacobs video
Bye guys, thank you so much, stick with and mucho, and let me know what what gotten any nice deals lately. I would definitely love to hear them down below or any nice purchases if they're full price or off price. And let me know um, about the toy birch and the long shot bag. Should I keep both or should I just keep one? And what do you think I got a good steal on? And yeah, thank you, thank you so much. And los miro a la próxima video. Bye guys, take care.